You're listening to the Liberty Entrepreneurs Podcast, and this is Season 1, How to Work with a Virtual Assistant. Let's go. What's up, my fellow Liberty Entrepreneurs? Welcome back to the show. I know it's been a while. I haven't spoken to you in 2017 yet. Oh my gosh, it's been about four weeks since I've released an episode and I wanted to explain why. In the past four weeks, I have decided that I wanted to build a new business and you know, I'm continuing my own journey as a digital entrepreneur and freeing up my own time and building my own flexible lifestyle and I had an idea. As many of you know, especially longtime listeners, I hired a virtual assistant, his name is Dexter, back about six or seven months ago to help me out with the podcast. And it's been a huge success. Not only does Dexter help me edit the podcast, but help me post it on social media and on the website, but he's also helping me with several other projects, research projects, managing the info at Liberty Entrepreneur's email and helping me build some e-commerce websites. And it's a lot of fun and it's a lot of fun to work with someone every day, especially in a, a different time zone and a foreign culture and just growing through some of those pains of difficulties communicating at times or finding ways to stay organized. And I thought to myself, this is so much fun and I'm getting so much accomplished that I want to offer this out to the world. And so I created a very VIP type of virtual assistant service where I help you find a highly qualified virtual assistant to join your team and help you build freedom. What I didn't realize is there's a lot of confusion around the idea of hiring someone to your team who you've never met before. And so in order to provide you with the best content possible and actionable steps to help grow your business, I decided to create season one working with a virtual assistant so that we could focus on a single topic over several weeks so that you can confidently hire and add and expand your team. Now, there's tons of places to find virtual assistants, and we're going to go over all of the tips and tricks that I used before I had the idea of creating LibertyVAs.com. And basically the skill sets that I'm looking for, how I define my roles, how I communicate with the staff, and you know, I really want to create as much value as possible. The feedback that I've received from all of you is that most digital entrepreneurs are still uncertain to how to hire and train and manage a remote staff. And listen, it is a big world out there, but with the right mindset and enough experience, you can put together a global team of employees so that the clock never stops on your business and all for way less than it's gonna cost you to hire a domestic and office-based team. So many of you may be asking, what is a virtual assistant? because I know the name is a little bit kooky now that we have uh, Google and Alexa with Amazon, you know, these are like digital virtual assistants, but no, first off, a virtual assistant or a VA is a real person who works on your team, but from a remote location. So all interactions are done digitally since there's no office environment. It's not a robot or a computer program. We're talking about experienced and talented future employees for you. Dexter's one of the virtual assistants on my team, but I'm currently managing several. And I wanted to give you an inside look on how we communicate, how we stay organized, how we assign each other tasks and give end of day updates. And ultimately, I just want to show you how I'm leveraging the virtual assistant skill set and culture to help me build freedom much more quickly than I could otherwise. This is going to be a 10 part series. For now, if there's a topic that you really want to hear about, and please send me your topic recommendations at info at libertyentrepreneurs.com. The episodes will include topics like what is a Liberty virtual assistant and getting to know one or several of them on my team, learning about the culture and why I'm focusing on the Philippines to find such remote staff, the differences between a technical and administrative VA the importance of communication and customer service skills, top tasks 
to delegate to your virtual assistant and what not to delegate, recommended tools and applications to keep things organized and everyone on the same page, how to delegate tasks and ask for project updates, tips on interviewing and hiring and where you can find a virtual assistant, and so much more. Each episode is going to be about 15 to 30 minutes long and jam-packed with value from experience. So I've created a home base for you. If you go to libertyentrepreneurs.com slash season and the number one, you'll find all of these interviews and podcasts as well as the posts that accompany each one. There's also a sign-up form on Liberty Entrepreneurs slash season one where you can subscribe to all of the season one podcast so that you don't miss an episode. Each podcast will be emailed to you on the day that it's released. Now you may be asking yourself, what gives me, Ash, the credibility to speak on virtual assistants, create a business, and create an entire podcast series? <laughs> well, that's a good question. Just a little bit of background. I know that many of you already know this, but I've been what I call an internet ninja since the 90s, and I feel very at home in the digital world. After working as an engineer and software developer for seven years, I quit my job and moved to the Caribbean to join an offshore internet bank, Euro Pacific Bank, which gave me the opportunity to work with a truly global team. You know, I worked with so many people from different backgrounds and cultures, including Canada, the US, Mexico, Argentina, Israel, Ireland, Germany, Taiwan, Thailand, the UK, Dubai, and other parts of the Middle East, Hong Kong, Australia, New Zealand, and countless other places. So from this experience, I've gained massive insights and tips and tricks on what it takes to build a successful virtual or remote team. Things like how to set the vision for everyone, how to keep my team motivated, how to appeal to people's strengths and assign tasks based on their strengths and what they're passionate about. I'm constantly looking to add value, and I believe that this is one of my strongest skill sets, and I hope you're getting pumped up. Now, I may sprinkle in some of the normal interviews along the way, but season one for now is the focus. So if you ever wanted to clone yourself, if you've got too much work to do during the day on your business, you need to regain some of your time, then learning about virtual assistants is a must. Remember, you can't work on your business if you're always working in your business. All right, so season one, how to work with a virtual assistant. You're going to learn a ton. The next episode will introduce the recruitment manager at Liberty Virtual Assistants, Cherry Lou, and hear her story of what it means to be a virtual assistant. So don't forget to subscribe at libertyentrepreneurs.com forward slash season and the number one. And I'll see you again for episode one in just a few short days. 